Sadie Duffy in charge of this one. So we've got Lalali of Morocco in the red, Valeria Linkover of Russia in the blue, yeah, and Linkover, as I said, has got some some hardware in that trophy cabinet. A gold medal, a silver medal in European Juniors, national titles. Lalali's a national champion herself as well, though. Linkover with those hands down low by a waist is looking aggressive here. Lalali's trying to keep low, but she's getting picked off here. This is a very quick, good start from Linkovert. Interesting style she's got. Fighting against the, the shorter fighter, those hands being low. It's working for her because Lalali is, isn't as tall and she also dips quite low as she comes in. So firing those shots from the waist means the trajectory it's quite easy, she just needs to shoot them up a little bit. Whereas if she had that tight high guard, she'd be punching down, which can be quite, quite tricky. Sticks that jab again, standing just on the borderline there, Linkova. She's slightly out of range there for Lalali, and she knows it because Lalali is, is lacking that kind of reach that she's got. And the Moroccan is just trying to inch forward, and then when she commits, Linkova just takes half a step back and counters her with the right hand. This is going to be a tough job for Lalali. You can see that already. And again, as she comes forward, she gets caught by left hand. She's got to try and move her head. The Moroccan fighter, the fighter in red. Use some lateral movement on the way. And she just, she's coming straight in there, just inching in. You can see just walking straight in, in a completely straight line. And link of her, well, that's meat and drinks. You'll find that easy. There's the jab and then just hooks moving off to her right-hand side. There's the jab again, and again, and she'll hit her with that all day. Left hand steps off to the left, throws another left. Into the final minute of round one. Again, just exiting to the right after throwing that right hook. One, two, catches Lalali again. And there's just not all that much the Moroccan can do about this at the minute. She's trying to keep that guard high, but it's not really all that tight. Feet come forward, but Linkova's movement is, is too good to be caught by that. She did kind of turn her back there, Linkova, as she was kind of fleeing the scene away to her left. But in that exchange, Lalali maybe got one through. Linkova got four or five through. That's a lovely left hand, just moving off to the left-hand side. And Lalali is always her weights forward. She can't really stop herself when she commits. And just a step off to the side there from Linkova, times the left hand. She's a level above. A couple of 10-8s, and the rest 10-9s there for Valeria Linkova. And you just see the, the gloves just bouncing off that red head guard. couple of times in the second round so far. Not something we really saw a throw, Linkover, in, in round one. The uppercut, it's definitely there because Leilani dips that head as she comes forward. And as I've been saying, as she commits, the weight is forward. And there's no real way for her to get it back. So if she times that uppercut right, Linkover, then, then that could do some damage. The jab is working perfectly nicely, though.
switches fairly seamlessly at times between Orthodox and Southpaw. Flicking that jab every now and again, Linka, but really she's waiting for Lalani to come in on it, which she knows she will do at some point. Long right hand. And again, lovely one, two. And our referee steps in with a standing count as the head just snaps back there. I feel for Lalani a bit here because there's just not anything she can do about this. She's up against someone here who has got all the tools just to pick her apart, and that's exactly what she's doing. And for Linka, quite honestly, this is easy. This is like a sparring session. Switches southpaw, throws the one-two. Lands it out of that stance as well. Just trying to paint with that front foot there, Linkovic, just seeing if she can tempt Lalali to, to come in. But the problem Lalali's got now is that when she does come in, she gets hit. And when she's standing at range, she gets hit. So it's difficult for her to know really what to do. To the point where she's now not really doing anything and I can understand why because every time she opens up she finds herself on the receiving end so she's reluctant to do it but then there's another standing count if she doesn't do anything then Linkova will take that invitation step into that space and, and let her hands go really with impunity Bell goes at the end of the round. This was back in the old days when we had computer scoring and the outclassed rule, which meant that the fight was over if one fighter went 20 points ahead. This would be over by now. 10 8s across the board there. And you cannot argue with that. Seconds out, please. Third round. So third and final round here, Valeria Linkova of Russia in the blue. She has completely dominated this contest so far. Salma Lalali of Morocco has worked hard. She's tried everything that she can. She's just been outclassed here by Linkova. And there's no real shame in that because the Russian has got some serious credentials. A former European junior champion, a national youth and junior champion. And that Russia team, as we know, is a very difficult one to get on. One of the real powerhouses of Aiba boxing. So this will be a painful learning process for Lalali. She's never really looked hurt, though. She's never really looked discouraged either, apart from towards the end of that second round where she didn't really want to throw anything. This time she's looking a bit more aggressive again in round three. It's the hair, I think, sticking out the top of the head guard, which the referee is just asking them to attend to. There's that jab. Thank you. 
right hand, long right hand. It's just been target practice, really, for Linkova. Lali looks kind of compact and organised, the way she just creeps in, shuffles forward with that front foot. She's generally got that guard up, but she doesn't move ahead at all, really. And Linkova's found it easy to pierce that guard. Span around there, Lalali, and as soon as she turned back round again, Linkova was straight on it. And Linkova will be up against Kovo Oya, who we saw in the previous fight. And they're two very similar fighters physically. Tall, have got the reach, have got the range. Coach, hair, please. Well, the hair just keeps coming out the top of the head guard there. I don't think it's really obscuring her vision. I mean, it looks untidy, but I don't think it's really having any effect on her. Final 30 seconds. After this, we head into the men's light heavyweight division. Nice left hand there from Linkova, just skirting away to her left through it on the move. Bell goes at the end of the round, and that is a win, a comprehensive win for Valeria Linkova of Russia in the blue. From the blue corner, Valeria Rintova, Russia. Linkova gets the win, and those are wide, wide margins. I said that Kaivo Oya in that previous fight had won by as clear a margin as I'd seen anybody. I think that is the clearest margin I've seen. Certainly any female fighter win by. No point deductions in there either, so you've got three 10-8s there from Leonid Hanovic, one 10-8 from Eunice Nabil, two from Mia 